As our official SCRI project comes to a close and the Efficient Vineyard theme seeks to impact new projects, the most frequent question I'm asked is, what is the one big thing, the one big win from the project? Is it the Carnegie Mellon image sensor? Is it variable rate vineyard mechanization? Is it spatial data processing for growers? Or is it simultaneous yield and bricks monitoring? My response typically is yes, those things are important, but it's also not that kind of project. Only when those things are integrated do we start to see the real success of the project. My name is Terry Bates. I'm a senior research associate with Cornell Agritech and the project leader for the USDA Specialty Crop Research Initiative Project, Precision Vineyard Management, Collecting and Interpreting Spatial Data for Variable Rate Vineyard Management, now more commonly known as the Efficient Vineyard Project. I and the project team would like to express our sincere thanks to the industry partners who supported this project through NGRA with letters, phone calls, funding, resources, and most of all, their time. We would also like to acknowledge the support of the USDA and the coordination of the SCRI program director, Tom Buick. In competitive athletics, teams spend huge effort developing a game plan and then execute a coordinated set of activities for incremental gains in the direction of their goal. Sometimes there are breakthroughs, sometimes there are setbacks. But sticking to a game plan and adjusting to what is working leads to incremental success again and again until the main goal is achieved. And then it's on to the next challenge. Enjoy your victory and you wait for your next assignment, your next mission, and go to work. And that's what we're going to do. In the Efficient Vineyard Project, it took nearly four years of planning and NGRA funded pilot studies to develop a game plan, which coordinated the activities of a multidisciplinary team over five more years. Sometimes there were breakthroughs, sometimes there were setbacks, but sticking to project objectives led to incremental achievements that, when taken together, led to achieving our overall goal of spatial data-driven, variable rate vineyard management. It is my pleasure to report on behalf of an outstanding team of university and industry scientists who coordinated their efforts to align with the goals and objectives set by the project team. Thank you to the many researchers, postdocs, grad students, technicians, industry scientists, and extension specialists who contributed to the success of the project. Typically, commercial vineyards are divided into management blocks based on a number of factors such as location, variety, or parcel size. Management within a block, in general, tends to be uniform, but producers also know that any given block can vary with respect to soil characteristics, vine growth, or crop yield. Our argument, since the beginning of the project, is that uniform management in a non-uniform system results in only a portion of the vines receiving optimum inputs. The rest of the vines receive inferior management, either too much or too little, and this leads to inefficient production. Our approach for the project was to explore sensing technologies for collecting spatial data on vineyard soil, canopy, and crop characteristics and then transform the sensor data into useful viticulture information through directed sampling protocols. Armed with this new information, management decisions could be tailored to the vineyard's spatial characteristics by generating prescription maps and then applied to the integration of precision ag technology with vineyard mechanization equipment. Our game plan? Measure, model, manage, then evaluate and adjust, and then do it all over again until we got it right. Our first objective was to explore existing agricultural sensors and develop new sensing technologies to spatially measure vineyard characteristics. The team explored several commercial sensors and potential sensing technologies and ultimately pursued ones that generated reliable data, were field durable, and relatively cost effective. Gaps were identified where commercial options did not exist and new sensor development was pursued with similar end goals for data collection and field durability. The next critical research activity was to validate the sensor data and translate them into viticulture information through in-field calibration measurements. Our approach was to collect, process, and map spatial sensor data and then identify sample locations for manual measurements which captured the variation and spatial pattern in the data set. When positive relationships between sensor data and manual measurements were identified, sensor maps could then be translated into meaningful viticulture maps. Some successful sensor validation results from this project generated spatial vineyard information on soil texture, shoot density, crop estimation patterns, visible berry count, berry size, fruit color development, 
actual harvest yield and juice soluble solids. Our studies investigated the response of a single sensor throughout the course of a single season, or compared the relationship between multiple sensors in a single vineyard, or looked at longitudinal spatial patterns of multiple sensors across multiple seasons. Therefore, it was an important goal for the project to be able to integrate and process multi-layer spatial information. A successful example of multi-layer modeling in the Efficient Vineyard Project is in spatial crop load mapping. Crop load is the relationship between yield and vine size, often measured by the Revaz index or yield to pruning weight ratio. General interpretation from classic crop load research, regional fruit thinning studies, and crop load mapping associated with the Efficient Vineyard Project indicates that vines are generally considered balanced at a yield to pruning weight ratio of 5 to 10, with controlled fruit and vine growth, and where the season typically has the greatest influence on fruit quality. At crop loads less than five, vines are considered undercropped and can have excessive vegetative growth and canopy shading in the fruit zone. At crop loads above 10, vines become increasingly overcropped with both delayed fruit and wood development. Management at low crop loads tends to be vine or canopy focused to decrease internal canopy shading, and management at high crop loads tends to be crop focused to bring the vines back into balance. Having a spatial vineyard crop load map which integrates accurate measurements of both yield and pruning weight could direct both the type and the degree of vineyard management toward vineyard balance. Our next objective was to be able to do something with the spatial data by generating sensible prescription maps and applying variable rate management. From making simple breaks in single data layers to multi-layer cluster analysis supported by spatial statistics, to end-user fuzzy logic models. Various methods were used to generate prescription management maps. Likewise, various methods to impose variable rate management were developed. On one end, simple, easy-to-use spatial scouting software was developed to allow an individual to act as a sensor to generate and map their own spatial observations. On the other end, spatial prescription maps were fully integrated with commercial precision equipment and vineyard mechanization implements for on-the-fly variable rate applications. I always forget to talk about impacts, maybe because the benefits seem obvious to me or I just like sounding like an infomercial, but the Efficient Vineyard Project does directly speak to the major challenges in the U.S. grape industries, namely production, labor, and environment. I would summarize the Efficient Vineyard Project this way. Vineyards vary, but we can now measure the magnitude and the spatial pattern of that variation. Sensors are relative, but we now have a protocol to translate sensor data into viticulture information. Vineyard management can be complex, but we can now integrate the needed spatial data to make more informed management decisions. Mechanization can be crude, but we can now refine its application with spatial data-driven variable rate technology. This is not the end for the Efficient Vineyard Project, and we are excited to expand into new projects. The Carnegie Mellon Image Sensor and the My Efficient Vineyard Tool are entering commercial development and application. We are already working on a new SCRI precision nutrient management project led by Marcus Keller, which seeks to develop and validate new sensors for vine nutrient levels. We're also cooperating with Katie Gold and Yu Zhang at Cornell University on pulling remote sensing into the Efficient Vineyard Pipeline and our cooperative work with the team at Carnegie Mellon continues by moving from sensor perception to robotic application with dormant grapevine pruning. More information, including project presentations and webinars, can be found on our website, efficientvineyard.com. This project was made possible only through the support and cooperation of industry, university, and public partners. Thank you to everyone who generously gave their time, resources, and effort to this integrated project. Thank you.